it's finally happening. Uh, the Falcon Heavy is about to launch in four minutes now. And uh, yeah, we've all been waiting for this for many years now, so it's gonna be super exciting. I've been mostly like this for the past hours. It's like Christmas, it's New Year's, your birthday, 17th of May, everything at once. And yeah, it's, it's like we're all around the world now sharing this moment. Uh, everybody just wants this to succeed. I mean, it's the most powerful rocket since, since the moon rockets. And it's almost 2 million people watching the live feed from... Uh, from SpaceX on YouTube. And I see the everyday astronaut put on his, uh, his spacesuit as well. That has to be really warm out there. Oh, it's... Oh, I'm getting the chills there. It's awesome. And I get my uh, SpaceX cap as well, uh, which I got at the SpaceX booth at the IAC, International Astronautical Congress, conference or Congress, one of those, in uh, Jerusalem uh, in 2015. Oh, the counter. Three, two, one. It's happening. It cleared the landing tower. Oh, this is big. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> Do you see this? Is the camera still running? Yep, it is. Perfect. Okay, so another milestone is one minute and six seconds into the flight. It's now half a minute. Uh, at that point, it will reach the max Q when it's the most pressure on the on the whole rocket structure. And if it's going to blow up, it's gonna be at that time. Uh, and it's 20 seconds left until that. It's, I mean, look at it, it's flying. It's, oh, it's so beautiful. Ah, oh, the sound of it. Oh, I wish I could be there. I know like two people who are there on site. One working for the FAA, uh, like checking the operations. Max Q is happening now. It made it. It's gonna go to space, definitely. Oh. And now we still have the three landings to look forward to as well. This is ah so great. This is better than any sport, basically. Like the Olympic Games is starting soon, but this gets me much more excited than that ever will, I think. Okay, side boosters are about to separate. Oh, they made it. Ah, nice. And now they're gonna flip back and they're gonna fly back and land on the Cape Canaveral, basically. And they're two of those boosters are gonna land at the same time. Like, I don't know how far apart, but probably like a kilometer or something. Uh, that's just gonna look massive. We're going to Mars, people. It's gonna happen. Humanity can do anything. Okay, the two boosters are back, are going on their way back. I wish I had something to visualize this for you. Uh, <clears throat> okay, hold on. Let's see. Ah, yeah, they're playing the song. Okay, so imagine this is like the center, uh, center burner, center booster. These are the side boosters, like all of them are identical, but I didn't have three identical things right now. So this is flying, these two are se separating, and then like these are flying back, and they're gonna land. While this keeps on going, and it's gonna send the, the red Tesla uh, out to an orbit around the sun, and it's gonna reach Mars, Mars go back to Earth, uh, and cycle through like that. Uh, while the uh, central uh, stage, central booster, are also gonna like land, not at the same place as these two, uh, but at a barge out in the water. Uh, three landings coming up now, okay? The boosters are coming back. The space sector is the only sector where you can go into a museum and see things that outperforms things that you have today. That's a shame, really. Oh, okay, I, I just hope they nail all the landings. It, it could be like the perfect storm of launches, the perfect launch in my Cut the Middleman, basically. I'm drinking uh, water now just to symbolize uh, what kind of area the last booster will land in. And okay, they're gonna land the two uh, side boosters. It's happening. No, not yet. They're just breaking for now. And they have like cameras on both of them and they just like really align. They're going back to the same place. Okay, yeah, now they got the cameras on the boosters that's coming back to Earth after being more than 100 kilometers above the surface. Okay, it's happening. They're landing. Mm. They're traveling at okay. The speed of the second stage now, second stage now, is more than 20 kilometers, 20,000 kilometers per hour, and it's closing in at 200 kilometers altitude. Uh, the side boosters are gonna land every minute now. We can see the landing pad in the uh, on their screens. Okay, now the cameras are off. Come on, ah, oh, they can each. Okay, oh, we see them in the same frame. Okay, they're coming in so smoothly. Oh, one of them is a bit skewed. Will it? One of them landed perfectly. The other is behind the smoke. 
I can see at least one safe landing. The second one is behind smoke. I still can't. Yeah, it's there. They made both of the two first boosters back in one piece. Landing like so close to each other. It's perfect. Ah, I mean, the people who are not interested in space and the future of mankind, humanity, I mean, right now are missing out on something. This is a cool moment to share with millions of people around the world. Ha. And like on the Norwegian BBC, it's on the top of the page. Successful Falcon Heavy uh, launch. They didn't get the news about the landing, but yeah. Okay, that, that was it. Uh, and <laughs> the red Tesla is out in space with the spaceman playing Space Oddity. I realized that this video might be taken down because of that background video. I can turn down the volume so that my voice uh, dominates instead. <laughs> oh, the panel in the car is saying, don't panic. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference. And it's just so much love that goes into this kind of mission. It's it's complete silly and like a waste of resources to send the Tesla up there. There was a 50% chance it's, it was going to blow up, so it wouldn't have made sense to put on an expensive satellite that could do any use. So why not put something fun up there, I guess. I think I landed as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, congratulations for being part of this amazing species. We can do so much.